Okay, hi guys. So I'm really tired right now because I just worked from nine, half past nine to half past four in the afternoon. I am leaving for the weekend. I'm visiting my aunt and my uncle in the countryside, which means that I won't have the internet and I won't be able to upload any film, any film, anything. And I really wanted to upload something before I leave, especially in English, because a few of you have been like, "Hey, have you stopped, you know, doing videos?" Uh, or making videos in English and are you gonna go back to YouTube in English and I just want to say I'm not stopping anytime soon making YouTube videos in English um, it still feels kind of like more comfortable for me to talk about myself and things I feel strongly about in English anyway today I wanted to just sit with you sit with you yes yeah, sit and chat with you about something which you know it's not gonna be political it's not gonna be controversial it's gonna be just a personal talk about a few things and um, I guess it could be seen as something kind of like positive and inspiring so if any of you can get something beneficial out of this video it would be really positive and I'd be really happy about it. I just want to talk about a thing that I've noticed, a strange phenomenon that I have noticed the past month or so in my life and it's very difficult for me to explain it but I just the best way I could find to explain it would be a circle. Lately, I have noticed that a lot of things that, ha that are happening in my life, um, there are things that make a lot of sense, but not in a logical way. Like, they're not happening because I work for it, and they're not happening because I necessarily... Um, made it happen. There is not this kind of logical link it's not like that or it's not like oh you know I got into university and now I have a degree those things obviously it's a circle and it makes sense but that's not the kind of phenomenon I have observed the thing I have noticed are just things that you know they make sense because they remind me of how I was or things I used to do or things I used to like but that I didn't act on and still happened to me and it probably makes no sense right now for you but let's just you know Give you the real example. For example, when I was younger, you probably know that I was obsessed with Egypt. I never really thought much about it because I was so young. And when I was in middle school, I really wanted to learn Arabic, and I was really upset when my parents put me in a Catholic private high school, uh, middle school where, you know, quite naturally, they did not provide any Arabic classes. For a very long time, for a quite consequent time of my life, I was very interested in Egypt and the Arabic language. And then it just kind of faded away, or not so much faded away, but it just went silent and kind of like went to sleep in a way, like was very... I don't know how to say this in English, but you know, it's like in dreams, in psychoanalysis, there are two kind of contents. There is le contenu manifeste et le contenu latent. And I feel like for me, there were a lot of things that were latent <laughs> and I had no awareness of that and I think it's the same for everyone we have so many things that are kind of like asleep or silent mute inside of us and I just wait the right and the good moment to be activated in a way I am at a point in my life where a lot of things are being activated and it's a very strange feeling there was this obsession for Egypt and this very high interest in Arabic language and now Egypt has come back so strongly in my life it's been a bit weird uh, both like in a more professional sort of way a lot of my students in the volunteering uh, classes are from Egypt and also like personal and just you know the simple fact like my master degree I am doing it um, on Egyptian literature partly and it's it's bizarre because I never thought I would do it on this subject. I never thought I would do it on Egyptian literature. And I never thought I would teach to Egyptian students. Never. And I never thought that Egypt would come back in the way it has come back into my life. And that's quite the same for Arabic, you know. I obviously now, I'm like, I hear Arabic so much and so often. <laughs> and um, I really want to learn Arabic a little bit. And um, I'm reading a lot of Arabic literature. You know, and I wasn't before. I wasn't doing any of this previously. And it's not like I have consciously decided to do those things. It just so happened. And I took a step back and I was like, that's so bizarre. Like, how come Egypt is the one country that comes 
impact the most when I was actually so interested in Egypt when I was younger. And there are so many different things like that in my life right now. For example, uh, my master degree. Um, I am obviously doing my dissertation and my dissertation is on surrealism and focuses on one book. And this one book, at the end of high school, I also did like a big, big sort of essay on this book. And I remember in high school, teachers were very surprised that I chose and picked this book because it was a very difficult book and it was not something they would have suggested and it was not something we had studied or anything like that. It feels so bizarre because I ju just, you know, forgot about it. Not, not forgot about it because I love this book, but then I just, you know, it was just a book I loved. I never planned, never, even up to next, last year, I didn't plan on doing my dissertation on this. And suddenly, I'm making my dissertation, I'm doing a dissertation on surrealism. It was not in my plan at all. And realized I was doing a very different sort of work, but, you know, a, a big essay on surrealism as well, when I was in high school. It's like a circle, always, you know, kind of like connecting everything together in my life. And the work that I have, I am teaching to Japanese, Korean and Chinese students in the morning. And obviously, like, it's obvious, you know, when I was studying Japanese in a university, I was obsessed with Japan and I still really love Japan. And I really wanted to live there and I wanted to exchange with Japanese people and I was just so interested in Japanese culture. When I started studying linguistics, I was like, honestly, if I can find a work or a job that's with Japanese students, it'd be amazing. And then I forgot about it because I was not looking for a job. And up until the last moment where I, for some reason that I don't even know, looked up, you know, job authors, there was this one. And this is the one that, you know, works for me. All these things in my life that are happening right now, it's strange because those were all sort of like interests of mine or dreams or goals or things I really aspired or kind of wanted in my life but at the time could not get, could not have and I felt like I needed to give up or I felt like I needed to let go and life, you know, every time life made it so that I could not get those things but also just continue working or liking or being in contact with these things. I had to you know, I could not get the Arabic classes and I stopped, you know, my, I didn't stop, but I was, I grew out of the Egyptian phase, I suppose you could say. And then I had to stop learning Japanese and then I had to stop learning and studying and just loving so much surrealism and literature because I thought I didn't want to study literature at university. And those were like, failures upon failures upon failures upon disappointments in my head. That's how I perceive them and that's how I felt about them. And now I'm realizing that, you know what, life kind of gave me back all those things. And sure, life is very difficult. And I have also noticed this phenomenon happening with negative things, like for example, what happened to my grandmother. I always felt a sort of guilt that I was so far away and that I perhaps was not as present for her as she would have liked me to. And I was always, you know, I remember saying to my therapist, I'm, imagine if something happens to my grandmother. Imagine if something were to happen to her and something happened to her. You know what I mean? It's just bizarre because my grandmother was perfectly healthy despite all the struggles and hardships she had been through before. I feel like we all have a very wide range of possibilities, capacities and opportunities lying inside of us and sometimes you just need one person, you just need one moment, you just need one word or one action or one hand to activate these things. And sometimes you also just need to wait and realize you can't be doing everything at the same time. And sometimes it's just not the good time. You just have to wait. It's not meant to happen right now. It feels very strange because, you know, obviously I am very, very, very busy and very, very tired with everything that I am doing. YouTube, writing the dissertation, writing the essays for university and going to university, working and preparing each class, volunteering and preparing each volunteering class. And I'm very alone 
because my sister has left, none of my friends are here, and none of my friends will ever be here with me. And so it, sometimes it's difficult to just look at my situation and realize how actually really positive it has been. To see that I am actually right now currently doing everything that I wanted to do almost and everything that I loved and love is present in my life in ways that I had never dreamt of or never imagined would happen to me. And so I just want this perhaps to inspire some of you or to comfort some of you who think I have failed, I am so disappointed at myself, I'm very upset and sad about it and I can't get over this thing that I have lost or that I this chance or opportunity that I have missed because things change, things happen and life sometimes works as a circle and you just have to wait and life will give you, I believe, very frequently the things that you need at the right time. And we just have to be humble enough to understand that sometimes it's not the right time despite the very strong desires that we have within ourselves. So I just wanted to share this with you because it's honestly a weird phenomenon to me and it's also kind of inspiring and kind of positive. And I would be really interested in knowing if any of you have felt or noticed something similar in their lives at some point. And um, I hope you're doing all very well and I'll see you very soon. Bye.